Okay, so now we'll do the other foot. What did we do? We locked this in first, right? And then we went 20 and 20. 20. 20. So what we're going to do with the feet. Again, we keep it brief. I'm not really going to go back in too much. And, uh, so for the spine, we want to we want to duplicate this twice. On this, we want to rock it. One, two. For this, we want to rock it the opposite way. One, two. And again, we'll lean them also as he's going up. One, two. He's coming down. We'll go back two. One. We'll go back one. Back up two, one, two, and then up one. And that is uh, pretty much our walk cycle. If we um, hold down control and alt and right click in the timeline. We can drag that out and we'll hit um, the question mark on the keyboard or the uh, forward slash. And we can see our walk cycle. A good way to test if it looped properly is um, if you're on frame zero and you go to the last frame by one click and it's the same thing. But that also means there's two of the same frame, so you could take it one less to 39, which means if you click the next one, it should just follow in the sequence. Like if I couldn't see the timeline at all, I shouldn't be able to tell where it started or where it stopped as far as the loops. All right, so that's the uh, that's the walk cycle bit. And now, <laughs> for the the super fun part, to see if you've made any errors. Um, also, going to save Control S. Gonna turn that off right there. Don't need that. You can see if your skin goes with it, and it seems to be working okay. Um, in the original KiwiBot video, we see we you see his foot it bends because I I skinned it different. I used I actually used the skin modifier in that to get his foot looking floppy. Um, again, I didn't do that in this one. I didn't plan on it. Uh, you see, it's just a regular walk cycle. just looped over and over and over we have basically the same thing uh, not as good not as accurate uh, 
no skinny, nothing like that, but the basic stuff. And now that we have that, we can make, uh, I'm going to group all of that together. I'm going to call it Kiwi Bot. Uh, Kiwi bot particle because our next step is we're going to make all these work with the pa uh, the particle flow. I always call it power flow for some reason. We're gonna make this guy work with the particle flow uh, system as a particle. Each particle. Um, one of these will represent each particle that's displayed. So, with that being said, we can create a new layer. Make sure nothing here is selected. New layer. We'll call it PFLOW. make sure it's checked it is okay I'm gonna create actually let's create another layer we'll call it um yikes that backfired we'll call it scene extras I was going to put double zeros in front of that so it goes to the top. So I don't have to look for the S's later on if the layers really pile up. Reference panels. Okay, so we're in scene extras. That's fine. I want to create a ground plane. Uh, I don't know. What is that? 10,000. 10,000. zero that out I'll make it the same color and mapping as everything else this is a cool way to view things in Max uh, uh, I don't know. You see what it does. Anyway. So we have that. And we'll go in and create our particle flow. Uh, 